I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a very interesting question based on numbers and uh, it's an application of linear system. The question here is a fraction is such that if the numerator is multiplied by 3 and the denominator is reduced by 3 we get 18 over 11. But if the numerator is increased by 8 and the denominator is doubled we get 2 over 5. Find the fraction. Now let's read this problem once again and try to write our equation. So first thing is we can say let the fraction be p over q. So let's define this. So this is our fraction. Is it okay? Now based on this we'll make an equation as we read. We say a fraction is such that if the numerator is multiplied by 3. So we have to multiply numerator which is p by 3. Do you see that? 3 times p and denominator is reduced by 3. Reduce means subtract. So q minus 3. We get 18 over 11. We get 18 over 11. Do you see that equation? So a simple equation is formed and what we have done here is read up to this place, correct? And got our equation. Let's simplify this equation. So you can see 3 and 18, we could actually simplify this. We say, well, that goes 6 times. Is it okay? So I could write this as, as p over q minus 3 equals to 6 over 11. Perfect. Divide both sides by 3. Now we'll cross multiply. 11p is equals to 6 times q minus 3. You could actually expand it. So we get 11p equals to 6q minus 18. Let's write the variables together, constant on the other side. So we can say, uh, okay, so we can say 11p minus 6q equals to 18, right? So we got simplified version of our equation. So this is equation number one. Now let's read the next statement and try to form another equation. It says, but if the numerator is increased by 8, that means this numerator p is increased by 8 and the denominator is doubled, that means twice q, we get 2 over 5, we get 2 over 5. Does it make sense to you? Perfect. So I increase the numerator by 8, twice denominator is 2 over 5. Now let's cross multiply. So we have 5 times p plus 8 equals to 2 times 2q which is 5p plus 40 equals to 4q. Let's bring them together as we did here which is 5p minus 4q equals to minus 40. Okay. So we get our second equation. Avoid fraction, that's the main thing. So all this we did to avoid fractions. Now we have two equations. We should be in a position to eliminate something. Now it is easier to eliminate q if I multiply this equation by 3, that is to say, if I do equation 2 times 3, what do I get? Let's do it. So 3 times will give us 15p minus 12q equals to minus 120. Now on the other hand if I multiply this by 2 so I'm writing equation 1 by 2 so I'm multiplying equation 1 by 2 I mean not the equation 1 just by number 2 and I'll write it here what do I get? Twice we get 22p twice is 12q twice is as this was minus, right? We brought it here, yeah, minus 36. That is what we get, right? Okay, as you can see, these two Q's, if we subtract, we could eliminate, right? So we have equation three and four now. So now we can do equation three minus equation four, correct? So we do these subtraction. So if I do 15 minus 22, we get 7, right? So we get 7p, that cancels out. And on this side, we get 120 uh, minus this, so we get negative number. 
which is uh, 4 and uh, 11 minus this is 84 right so from here we can find what p is so p is 84 by 7 i'm sorry when i did this this is negative 7 15 minus 12 negative p so it is negative 84 divided by negative 7 which gives us a value which is positive 7 times 1 and 12 so we get the value of p as 12 got it now we know what p is so we say p is equals to 12 we can use one of our equations to find q so let us use this one which is 5 times p minus 4 times q equals to minus 40 so i'm replacing p with 12 so it is 5 times 12 minus 4 times q equals to minus 40 bringing it to that side that is 60 plus 40 equals to 4q which is 100 equals to 4q so q is 100 divided by 4 and so we get q is equals to 25 correct and there we get our answer p over q so our answer is the diffraction is p is 12 and q is 25 do you see that so it's a very tricky question not i should not say it's easy at all but it requires a lot of manipulation even after writing the equation right so one part of course is to understand how to write the equation the second is also to eliminate and get the answer as we did i hope you understand and appreciate it feel free to make your suggestions if you like and subscribe that would be good thank you and all the best